Hello everyone and welcome to the RV Inspection and Care podcast and video. I'm Dwayne, I'm a certified RV inspector, and today we're going to be talking about the big changes going on at Grand Design RV. Grand Design has been known for making travel trailers and fifth wheels for both the weekender and full-time market since 2012. And over those years, they've gotten a real reputation for putting out a quality product and providing good customer service. Now, we're going to talk about that a little bit later on in the video, so hang tight for that. Right now, though, I want to talk about my visit last week to the Super Show in Hershey, Pennsylvania, where I was able to go through lots of brands and models and uh, provide some personal inspections on them. But Grand Design surprised me at the show with not one new offering, but two new RVs. And the first new RV we're going to talk about represents a whole departure for the company. Remember, we talked about how they build travel trailers and fifth wheels, right? Well, now they are firmly committed to moving into the motorhome segment of the RV industry, and specifically into smaller Class C RVs. And here is their latest offering. It is the Lineage Series M 25 FW. Now, let me show you some video of the inside of the RV while I cover some of the specs with you. First of all, let's start at the chassis. That's a good place to start. And Grand Design is using the Sprinter 4500 chassis here. Now, that's a little different. Many manufacturers like to use the 3500 chassis, but Grand Design opted for the 4500 chassis, and they explained the reason is they wanted to beef up the frame on this particular motorhome and in order to do that, they needed the bigger chassis, but they didn't want to sacrifice cargo carrying capacity to do that. So the cargo carrying capacity is still a thousand pounds, and that's pretty good. Now, I just made a video about smaller Class C RVs, and in it, I mentioned that the cargo carrying capacity is an Achilles heel for this segment of the industry. And it's true that in general, when you're building a really small motorhome like this, it's going to be difficult to come up with a lot of carrying capacity. But especially if you want to build a stronger frame, it's a real challenge. But they did that by stepping up in the uh, chassis that they use. Now, the length of this particular motorhome is about 25 feet. So that makes it very usable for an around the town vehicle and daily trips and so on. Inside a very unique feature is a king bed. Yes, not queen, a king bed. So there's plenty of sleeping space. And you can use this RV off grid very easily. They provided 260 amp hours of lithium batteries and couple that to 600 watts of solar on the roof. The GVWR, or gross vehicle weight rating, comes in around 12,000 pounds. There is only one floor plan available right now. It's the one that was at the show, but there will be more coming. One of the most interesting features, though, that uh, caught my eye and ear while I was at the show is inside the RV, the air conditioning system that they're using. It's not the normal ones that we're used to. They say that it is a manufacturer that comes from Europe, and I was super impressed with the quietness of the unit, even at full blast. You'll need to experience that. Now, the MSRP is going to come in around $197,000, and that makes it not a cheap unit. But then again, most of these Smaller Class C RVs are fairly expensive, especially for the square footage. Now, keep in mind that if this one doesn't particularly meet your needs, well, there's more coming soon. Now, next up in the discussion for the day is 
another new product, and that is a new super light travel trailer. This is the one that surprised me. I knew about the Class C, but they are also releasing this new light travel trailer. It's called the Saranova 160 LG, and it looks completely different from their other offerings. You can see there's that big window in front, lots of open feel to it. Now, let me show you a video of the inside here while I cover the specs. And first of all, it comes in around 20 feet. That's a pretty good length for folks that use it for weekends and vacations. The gross vehicle weight rating, that's what we really need to know. How can you tow it? And that comes in around 5,400 pounds. And that's great because that puts it well within the range of many SUVs and half-ton pickups that people might already own. And the cargo carrying capacity is still a thousand pounds, and that's very good for this size of RV. Now, the cost, well, the MSRP is going to be around $59,000, according to Grand Design's website. All right, so those are the two new offerings from the company. Both of them are kind of departures, really, from what they've been doing. But now let's talk about quality build because you know that's what I am all about. I'm all about overall build quality. I talk about it constantly and I was able to make a personal inspection of several grand design units at the show. Overall, I was very pleased with what I saw with build quality. Now, this is a very good place for me to say this. I am not paid by Grand Design in any way. I am not sponsored by them. I am not affiliated with Grand Design. I'm not sponsored by anybody. When I give you my opinion about a brand or certain models of RVs, it is my honest, unbiased opinion. Now, you may not agree with it, and that's fine. I don't really have a problem with that but it is what I honestly believe. Now, Grand Design has come under fire in recent years. Uh, their reputation has come under fire. And in many cases, I feel that it has been unfair. Why has this happened? Well, there are some RV influencers online that have been spreading a lot of negativity about a lot of brands, but about Grand Design in particular. And it's not that they are saying things that aren't true, because they do take a kernel of truth, maybe a legitimate problem, something that needs to be addressed. But they often blow it way out of proportion and then tell people they should not be considering or buying Grand Design because they're just producing rotten stuff. Well, why would these online influencers, these social media influencers, do all of this? It's for one simple reason, and that is they want to get more viewers. And a good way to do that is to be negative. Honestly, one thing I've learned since having this channel is that if you put out a lot of positive stuff, people don't really want to listen to that. They love to listen to negative things and drama very often, or at least a lot of people do, not everyone, but quite a few. So if you want your viewership to go up, well, then you put out negative things. And especially if you make it negative about a brand that people usually associate with quality, well, then you're probably going to get a lot of viewers, especially the segment of the RV community that I like to call the naysayers. They love drama. They love negativity. They feed off of it, and they gravitate toward those kind of influencers. Let me say this. This channel is not about drama. It is not about negativity, and it never will be. If that's what I have to do, to get viewers, then I just simply won't be putting out any more information. This channel is about 
putting out information about the way things really are, at least the way I see it. And once again, you don't have to agree with it, but at least know that it is an honest assessment. Now, having said all of that, I sat down with some of the top representatives from Grand Design, and I mentioned a lot of the accusations that have been made about them over the last couple of years. And you know what happened? They gave me very honest feedback. They didn't try to deny it. They didn't try to minimize the issues at all. They admitted that mistakes have been made, which any company can do. More importantly though, they explained that they listened and steps have already been taken to resolve those issues. So what it helped me understand is that Grand Design is a company that not only puts out a quality product, but listens as well. Now you can believe them or not, that's up to you. Personally, I felt very good about what they said, but I felt a lot better about what I actually saw. And my personal inspections reveal a company that is putting out very good overall build quality. So I can say this, don't hesitate to consider Grand Design for your next RV. And be sure to check out the new RVs as well, the new directions they seem to be going. They may be just what you need. And that's it for now. Have safe and happy travels, my friends. Until next time.